all right guys today i'm going to introduce you to a very wonderful man of god are you ready are you ready okay yo i have a new mic he's a very powerful man of god with so much swag and drape then i'll sign it pt and it's gonna be sold for about twenty thousand pounds he is the typical celebrity pastor that you know. Like, he became very popular this week, Charlie. Very, very, very popular. Livingston is amazing, but that song was boring me. Today, I introduce you to Pastor Tony. Mm. Let me look to my book and see. Pastor Tony. Mm. I believe in the Lord Jesus. I believe it's the ultimate sacrifice. Pastor Toby Adigboyega. I don't know if I'm getting there said it correctly please i start to be corrected he's the pastor it's a pastor at the spark nation that's this church you know can i beg your pardon for three or five minutes this morning to talk about mohammed now if you didn't know pastor toby is known for a lot of scandals a lot of fraud cases that have been you know brought up about him and then he has, he has ignored most of them but they are on the internet which i'm not i'm not here to talk about that part because that's my concern i do everything goes with so I'm, I'm going to talk about the music part of the video but this is the pastor who said this okay when they are ready thank you guys be seated please Livingston is amazing, but that song was boring me to death. So I had to come up, man. That was that's long. So, but well, thanks, guys. We'll come back. We'll sing together in a minute. Uh, just. But relax, relax. We we'll get to that video. We we'll get to that part. Relax. I have a lot of things to say before we get to that part. And then finally, we we'll get to address what he said in the video. Please watch this video to the end. But he said something that really struck me. He said that the choir was good, but the song was good. So I decided to do some investigation into the choir, the Living Stone Choir. Now because their pastor is a DB and their church is a DB church, the choir too is a typical and uh, serious DB choir. Oh, God, and my dear brother, let's play where to dig this video out. I don't know where you go this video, but you can enjoy it. I like the way I'm feeling now. The pastor said that what the singers were late, but the song was boring. Livingstone is amazing, but that song was boring me. And now we've established that the singers are correct, like they are very good. So now to the main issue, did Pastor Toby do the right thing? Well, I think every pastor has a way of correcting his people, and then and it may differ from one pastor to the other. You but but personally, I think that there are better ways to correct uh to to go about things and i feel like uh, who am i but i who am i but then again i feel like uh, he could have done better you know with this whole thing my issue is what if a, the church people or the a church member or some church members will actually enjoy the ministration and they decide to come and just cut it like that what would they do what if god was actually ministering to the song that you think is boring what if god was actually ministering ministering to through sorry through that song to people god was healing people god was talking to people through that song what if let's ask ourselves that question what if something like that was happening i mean i'm just imagining how the the the, the owner of this song or the composer of this song will feel as somebody saying the song was boring now was it true the song was boring what you look at the video i don't i don't know for me the song was i don't know how long they had performed the song but for the small part that we got to know or we got to hear or got to see the song was really going on very well you know anyways let me address the issue now it shows that you guys want um leadership right you want people responsible accountable now in the name of responsibility and accountability as he said he gets to reply now draggers and druggists i thought they said there's no employment in nigeria so let me be accountable the song was boring okay <laughs> <laughs> it was actually very boring. The singers lit song boring. I don't need nobody to speak for me in Nigeria or defend me. Fact is fact. Take it how you take it. Now, guys, um, the druggists and druggers, go take your medicine. Okay. That will take us to where I will say that it could have been handled better. You might have been handled better because 
Charlie singers, music ministry is not a not the ground, not the ground. There are a lot of singers and instrumentalists put a lot of they put a lot of effort into even just one ministry in your bab. And it's always like that. So to just come and rubbish all that all that they are doing in just one minute or in just some seconds, it's, it's, it can be very painful. So my final words, yeah, I do not know Pastor Toby. I do not understand why he did what he did. I cannot sit here and judge you. I cannot sit here and sing it against him for what he did. It's his church and he can do whatever he wants to do with his singers and with his music in his church. I cannot sit here and say anything against him. He's a man of God. I respect him for the ministry God is using to be the bar. But this I also think that if there's any uh, concern you have about the administration, whether it's boring, whether it's slow, whether it's fast, I think that you can go about it in a better way. The bar go about it in a way that will not embarrass them, that will not cause them. because I'm the, the camera didn't show what the, the, the audience, what the audience were looking like what they were feeling. Because I can't imagine this how it will happen. Like sorry, how it will happen in my church or something like that. So yeah, that's it for today. Well let me know let me know what you think in the comment section. If you think Pastor Toby did the right thing or whatever you think about the whole video or anything, just let me know. I just wanted to see this please please you can follow history at on Twitter, Instagram and Telegram and TikTok please we are everywhere. We are everywhere. Follow us and then, Charlie, get more content, more short form content to enjoy.